In this video, we are going to see how to determine whether the given signal is energy or a power signal. So let's take a simple example. X of n is equal to u of n. So basically it is a step function, unit step function. So what I will do first, I will plot this with respect to n. So actually this function is like this. For any value of n from 0 to infinity, I have the signal value as 1. So this is a basic fundamental signal. So this is a u of n. So we need to check whether this signal is energy signal or power signal. So the first step, we'll find out what is the energy of this signal by applying a formula. So formula is E infinity equals summation n minus infinity to plus infinity x of n mod x of n square. Now, since the signal exists only from 0 to infinity, Hence, I will cut short this summation limit from 0 to infinity like this. And the signal is u of n means what? For every value of n, the x of n is 1. So it is 1 square. So simple summation I have. Next, what I will do? Since the number is independent of n, let it be n of any value, but the signal will have one square, meaning one as the final value. So I have this one plus one plus one plus one, and it can go up to infinity. Meaning I have to add one up infinite times. So obviously every addition, the values keep on increasing. One, then it become two, then become three, and it can go up to infinity. So I can say E infinity is infinity. This is the first lead I will get. E infinity is infinity implies signal is not energy signal. So we have eliminated one possibility of a signal to become a energy signal. Now we need to check for the power. For discrete time, the formula for power is P infinity equals limit n tends to infinity time period is 2n plus 1 summation n minus n to plus n mod x of n square. So once again the limits for summation will change because it is a unit step signal exists only from 0 to n. So I will get p infinity as limit n 10 to infinity 
वन अपॉन टू एन प्लस वन समेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन एंड सिग्नल इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन हेंस वन स्क्वायर सो हियर आल्सो आई नीड टू ऐड वन बट दिस टाइम इट वोन बी फॉर इनफाइनेट टाइम इट विल बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड अप टू कैपिटल एन so this becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 but this is only up to 10 times now here it becomes limit n tend to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 you must be thinking this will be n hold on small n is not starting from 1 it is starting from 0 so keep this in mind do not forget to take account of this n equal to 0 so n equal to 0 is a first instant where one more one will get added to the n so i will get a addition n plus 1 plus 1 is for this instant where n equal to 0 now we have to solve this limit for solving this limit i will take n common from numerator and denominator so it becomes why i have taken n common because this is a common feature that i can cancel it out n tends to infinity meaning n is not equal to infinity so i can cancel this so n get cancelled i will get this and applying limits i get p infinity as 1 plus limit n tend to infinity 1 by n upon 2 plus limit n tend to infinity 1 by n so if i apply the limit i will get 1 upon infinity 1 upon infinity anything upon infinity will give you zero so this is 1 plus 0 upon 2 plus 0 so i'm getting p infinity as 1 upon 2 so what i'm getting power i'm getting as a finite number hence the signal is power signal this is the end of a problem where we have decided whether the signal is energy or a power signal first by calculating energy if it is infinite then we calculate power and here power is finite hence signal is a power signal thank you